Yo, what's up, sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're doing a ranked one v one. If you're wondering, Sam, why are you shirtless? Well, I'm gonna tell you because I just woke up. It's two thirty. I uh, well, I woke up at five in the morning, um, and I couldn't go back to bed. <sighs> woke up at five in the morning. I couldn't go back to bed, and finally, at eleven a.m., I was able to go back to bed. Um, Yeah, at 11 a.m. I was I was finally able to go back to bed. So now it is 2:30 p.m. Um, I'm hoping this is a good game so that I can upload this because I I really got to go to the gym. But um, but also more importantly than anything, I have to focus on my content. Actually, not more important than anything. My health is more important than my content. My uh, my girlfriend is more important than my content. My family is more important than my content. But as far as work goes, I really got to make sure this is top quality shit. So if I have to spend an extra hour recording, then I freaking will. I freaking will. So let's see if he, uh, if he's just clearing wave or what's up. He might hear me place these things down and uh, go for the cheeky steal, but he did not. Lucky, lucky me. Unlucky is the fact that he can insta clear wave and I cannot. I have to sit here like a little wee wee baby. Alright. We definitely scared him there. Uh, the reason I'm playing Arachne, by the way. Oh. Hey. Hell yeah, GG. Good stuff. Not a good game, but like, that's a good play. Uh, the reason I'm playing Arachne right now is because um, she's going to get buffed real soon to where her ultimate, when you actually land on someone, is going to put the web down on them, and that's really sick. So I want to be like somewhat decent with Arachne by the time... Uh, that buff is in the game because it would be really nice. Has he given up? No, he was doing his blue. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like this guy's going to give up any second now already. But, uh, so first blood there, the whole reason that happened straight up is because he was too greedy and he tried to get damage on my tower immediately. And uh, I was able to poke him really hard. We got his bracer, and we were able to chase him down even after he stunned because of my three. And uh, and then, like immediately following that, gotcha. immediately following that, he uh, he stepped back up to like right here to try to hit my wave, and just I mean, he just got clapped up, right? Like you can't be that aggressive with no HP and assume that it's gonna work out for you. Uh, he's dead right here as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's got a... He's got to work on his Zong Kuei play, man. I mean, I know he's got that diamond border, but you, you can't just run at people and assume they all, will all die the exact same way that you could kill, like, a Poseidon or something. You know, this is Arachne. This is the god of boxing. You gotta be careful, man. You can't be as greedy as you can be with these other gods. Arachne can close that distance so fast and keep going because of her, uh... It's her... Her three isn't just, like, increased speed or slowing you down. It is both, and it is consistent and long. So you really gotta look out for, uh... You really, really gotta look out for being a little bit too close to Arachne. Especially an Arachne that's ahead. Like, that's just gonna, you gotta be careful as hell. 
you got to make sure that you are not too far, not too close. you got to be right in the sweet spot to where you can still get that XP from the wave, but you're not going to be instantly mauled by the Arachne. And I think I'm actually going to level the 2. Sometimes I like putting a couple points in the 3 just because um, it makes them tankier. But against a Zong Kue, the reason I don't want to do that is because uh, when he 1s and he 2s me, I want to make sure that he doesn't get the heal off of my my little spiders. Like, I want them to die to the first tick of the 1 so he doesn't heal an insane amount. Um, it seems as though he has given up. Or, may, or maybe doing Bull Demon. I don't know where he is quite yet. It would seem as though he's given up though. I don't know why, but I had that feeling, you know? I just had that feeling he was going to quit the game. Alright. Well... Good game, everyone. I just want to go back here and make sure that he that he has quit. Yeah, he definitely did quit. Okay. Well. I guess I'll be sending this video to Define and see if he wants to edit the two together, cut out the Q times, and maybe have another, another double feature in this bitch. That'd be nice. And, you know, it's kind of nice because... Um... When I go to the gym, I like to go around 3 p.m. because that's when it's most dead and I don't like people being there when I'm at the gym. Uh, for a couple reasons. One, because I don't like people watching me when I work out. And two, uh, because I don't like my machines being taken. Like if I, if I want a bench and my bench is taken, because I have a specific bench that I go to. If I go to the gym and my bench is taken, I'm all pissy. I'm like, oh god, it's the end of the world. What am I, what am I gonna do, you know? Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's up, sexy Samuel underscore today? We're here doing a ranked 1v1 again. Uh, if all goes well, this should be one video. And I'm psyched about that because I love these double features uh, videos. <laughs> Let's hit up the Arachne again. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work against a Ravana because he can just like root me with his three. That's what that, that's what that was. That was his three. Um, and it heals him when he roots me. So I got to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything just yet, because I want to go place my three down. Slop that in and back, and then we're going to buy this and this and this and this and this and this and this, and this, and this, 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 and then we're going to run to lane, or wave, or blue buff i don't know why i was saying the other two that was idiotic idiotic uh this could have a lasting impact on the game to be honest the not being able to place my third web down on the blue buff uh it basically means that i'm trash and that i didn't get <laughs> that i didn't get here fast enough uh but it also means that my clear is going to be slower actually no we're good we're good I thought for a second it was going to have a much uh, bigger impact on the game than than the 0.5 seconds that it did actually have. But a big impact that could be in the game is if he's going for the red buff and he knows my shit. Oh, did he get red or did he get blue? Oh no, he got red. That's not good for me. Oh, that is though. Oh, that's not though. That's slow. No way, dude. I got fucked up there. Alright. That's slow on the one, man. It basically just made me waste my one and my two. And now I'm low on mana. And I can't clear nearly as well as he can. And he got that red buff, dude. That's so crazy. I already have to waste my bracer there. He's playing this perfect. Absolutely perfect. He got the heal off. I want to get another heal off. Uh, fortunately for me, I have blue buff, so I can kind of be um, a little bit, not more aggressive, but like, I can kind of annoy him. Well, it sucks that that hit me, but whatever. I 
I'm actually gonna ult here. Nice. So the reason I ulted there is because I pretty much knew that he would have to ult. Like, if I ult, he has to ult. Or he's gonna die, right? And I knew that based on his mana, and I pressed tab before, I don't know if you guys saw, but I pressed tab before, and I saw that he had no mana pots, no health pots, no nothing. So if he wanted to fight me, he had to do it at that that state of HP and that state of mana. So I knew that if I ulted him, I would make him waste his ult. Uh, because, you know, obviously you would try to you would try to ult my ult, right? He missed, even though I don't think it would have mattered um, if he did ult my ult or not. But uh, he missed, but the important thing is that he used the mana. And with no mana, he really was at a disadvantage for that fight. And now that I have full boots and... Uh, and we have that kill up on him, which is, you know, obviously for the gold and the XP and and everything. Uh, we can kind of try to snowball our lead like we did in the previous game. The, um, oh man, what god was he playing? The Zong Kuei game, I believe, is what god he was playing. I do want to make sure that I can get that red, but at the same time, I want to see if I can get this blue too. I want to be greedy. He got, he got finished power boots. Okay, he's going for the red. I think he thinks I'm at blue, so that's good. Come on, get this done, get this done. Alright, actually not bad. Nice. Him ulting that to try he tried to ult to get me to not stun him which was really honestly not bad it was a really good play the problem with the play was that he ulted in place if he just ulted away he would have gotten red buff and lived but instead he you know he obviously he tried to murder me which is not cool and uh he landed right in place and i got the stun i don't know what's weird about that to be honest I actually want to ask him what's weird because I, I really don't know what's weird about that like he made a misplay and I guess he thinks it's weird because he thought it should have worked but I knew for a fact if he altered on top of me I could take that fight I just had to run away for a second Your middle tower is under he has upgraded bracer by the way so he spent 500 gold upgrading bracer not a good play for the early game I haven't played a good spooter in a while I haven't been a good spooter in a while. Oh, let's grab this. That's why I backed that. Executioner is going to just snowball this. Like, the attack speed alone, even if it didn't give any power or penetration, the attack speed alone is going to make it uh, be a good item. Which, I mean, I guess you could, um, you could take that as, like, Arachne doesn't need power. She only needs attack speed, which is kind of true in the early game because... The one does so much damage and scales so high, and the two, as long as you get the stun off, you can just blah 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 hit him with autos so fast. But um, at the same time, I feel like if you're only playing, oh, I, I'm I'm suck. I'm suck. If you're only playing for the early game, though, you're gonna lose the late game, right? So the executioner. Um, although other items might have been better for the early game, such as Ichabal or Hasten Katana or something like that, um, it really does set me up better for the late game. Okay. That did quite the number on me. Um, but yeah, like like I said though, with uh, the same thing with Zong and not leveling the 3, I don't want to level the 3 with him because he gets so many good, good healers off of it. I just want to make sure I hit something with that. The heal is astronomical, so... If I don't hit anything with it, that's really bad. I'm not scared of him right now because I have sustain and he has, uh... Well, he has nothing, to be honest. If somebody could please tell me how... Uh, how that three went through him... 
Apparently he knows he can't contest. Good lad, good lad. We'll grab the red, clear the wave, we'll do the the uh the blue buff. Um I'm gonna back actually first. I'm gonna go stone cutting. This could be a throw play. Stone cutting sword could be a throw play, and let me tell you why. Because he uh he doesn't have Oh he just warded. He doesn't have defense, and stone cutting does shred defense. The only reason it might not be a throw play is because it gives me fucking 50 power. I mean, I don't have it yet, but it gives me 50 power when I have it. Um, oh, there we go, there we go. Alright, well, we actually got everything from him there, which is amazing. I can't believe that. There we go. He went for the dive, and uh, I just kind of let him hit me. And basically, like, if I hit him plus the tower, he has to use his two or he dies. So he used his two to, you know, not get killed by me slash the tower. And then uh, basically I just stunned him afterwards because he, he has nowhere to run. Like, he has to run this way if he tower dives me. And I have so many angles from that position that I could just cut him off and kill him. Um, so that was just like a desperation play almost by him to try to dive me there. I'm actually gonna go magic shell, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shell. He's gonna hit me with a lot of autos, or not a lot of autos, but the the autos that he's gonna hit me with are gonna hurt a lot. Um, so I gotta be careful. Uh, I'm gonna be really careful. So I think shell when it's upgraded, it's gonna help me the most late game. Like thorns is is all right. You know, like it's not bad uh, per se, but the, the reason it's holy shnikes, you, you. There we go. He used his two, and he's still slow, so we got the free kill here. Probably a surrender coming out. Nope. Uh, so yeah, I mean, basically, it's the same thing over and over again. Uh, he, if he tries to fight me, he dies. If he doesn't try to fight me, I push the tower and I win the game. You know. <laughs> And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take his blue. I'm going to stay back here so he can't see uh, with the tower. We'll see if I, I, if I get the corner on him, he's probably going to surrender the game. I would assume he's going to regardless, actually. Yeah, he's got again. Oh, no. Good ult, actually. I got his bracer just by landing on him. Nice. What he should be doing right now is really trying to make sure he keeps that beat stick on me. Just like use his three on me. Even if it messes up his clear a little bit, use that three on me and make sure that I can't clear for free because that's a huge part of why I'm destroying. Or, or uh, heal for free, sorry. Make sure I can't heal for free because that's a huge part of why I'm destroying. Uh, he doesn't even have like the option to, to fight me because when he tries, I just press one and then all of a sudden it's over, right? Like right here, this is good on him. Be aggressive when he can be. He's gonna two. No, he's dead. He didn't. The problem he died there is because he's he's really like not learning that he has to wait on his two for me to activate my two. If he uses two before my two, he's dead. Straight up. Every time. Late game, early game, mid game, any time of the game. If he uses his two before I use mine, he is dead. End of discussion. I'm actually going to go Breastplate here because cooldown and mana is going to be really, really helpful. Cooldown, I can heal more. Mana, I can heal more. It all just correlates into me pressing one as often as possible and winning the game straight up because of it. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, let's do Bull Demon. I'm not very scared of him. What do I have to be scared of? A long way. Ooh. 
see if he ults. Okay, he's... Uh, he might still be dead? Oh, no. Alright, good root, good root. I don't know what he was thinking. I really don't know what he was thinking coming at me when I was under a phoenix like that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, the double feature, da, da. like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.